Choose your fighter. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another nail DIY video. Um, I've been loving doing my own nails lately. I am not a professional. I did not go to a nail technician school. So this is all just, you know, me just trying to teach myself some things so I can save some coins so I can teach you guys some things. So you can save some coins. I would not recommend popping your old nails off with a metro car but i wouldn't be lying if i said i've been to the nail salon in new york city before and they've literally done this and then charged me five dollars for it like i wanted to fight the lady but i didn't because no but anyway i'm just cutting down um this old set cut off the nails popped them off pushed back my cuticles i'm prepping my nails for this new set that i'm about to do with gel i'm really excited because the last set i did was with acrylic stunk up my whole house the monomer was really strong a lot to inhale didn't really like that so i was like this time around i want to do gel so i'm just going in with a cuticle cutter and i'm just cutting my cuticles like the dead skin off you know making them look nice and neat and clean i told you guys this is very important if you want your nails to look really nice like salon did nails you want to make sure you clean up those cuticles then i'm just going in with a little buffer and i'm just buffing my nails so they're nice and smooth um, and then I'm going in with these clear tips. Every single item that I'm using in this tutorial today is all from Amazon. I purchased everything off of Amazon. So I will have it all linked down below in the description box. So you guys can go ahead and get yourselves the same items. But I'm just using some nail glue and I'm just sticking those um, clear tips on. They are a coffin shape. And I'm just applying them to each nail. This nail glue I got from Sally Beauty. This is the only one that I... This is the only item that I didn't get from Amazon. I love this nail glue. It's super, super long wearing. And my nails literally never lift with this nail. This nail glue, um, I never have an issue, so. I wanted to like make sure I showed you guys everything this time around because I feel like my nail tours are typically kind of fast. So I just wanted to slow it down because this one I feel like is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> then I'm going in with a nail file. I feel like the type of nail file that you use is really important when shaping your nails. I like the ones that have a really straight edge. They're usually like rectangular or this one is like has like a funky shape because like one side is rounded which I really liked and then the other side is like super square and sharp so it allows me to create really sharp edges with the nails so i'm just going ahead and i'm shaping the tips um into the like the shape that i want obviously i'm going for a very narrow kind of coffin shape so the nails are already in a coffin shape but they're kind of wide naturally so i'm just making them a bit more narrow um, and sharpening up those sides and the top edge And I like to take my time with shaping because I do want the shape to be perfect. I'm kind of anal about that. So then you see me going with another nail file. This one's a bit of a softer grip, grit. It's not as strong as the other one. And I'm just buffing off the um, kind of like the top layer of the tip. But I'm also like trying to blend it into my nail so that there's no kind of bump there with the tip being glued to my nail i felt like this was really important for like making your nail and the tip look seamless and i just really focused on the tip i wasn't buffing like my natural nail too much because i don't want to make it super thin so that's what that looked like and then i'm taking a lint-free wipe and i'm just dusting off the nail dust that's formed all over my fingernail and then i'm going with a dehydrator this is from jellish and you just want to make sure to apply a very small amount of this only to the center of your nail. You don't want to take this all the way up to the cuticles because it will burn. You'll give yourself a little chemical burn. You'll feel it. It will not feel good. So make sure you're very like sparing with this because you don't need a lot of it. And then I'm just showing you guys my gel machine, my UV gel lamp that I have also from Amazon. Super, super good. Um, and I'm going in with this Jellish foundation. This is just like a clear foundation base um, that you should use under any gel product. 
I was kind of heavy handed with this so it stung a little bit when I put in the when I put my hand under the UV lamp so you want to make sure to do a really thin coat of this do not apply a lot of this because it will sting when you put it under the UV lamp that's what that looks like and then I'm gonna stick it under the UV lamp for 60 seconds and this is what it looks like fresh out of the UV lamp and then I'm going ahead and taking another lint-free wipe and I'm just cleaning off the sticky layer of the nails because after you cure it there is going to be a sticky layer so I just took a little bit of alcohol and I rubbed that off then I'm going in with my clear hard gel from I don't remember the brand I think it's in vogue and I'm just gonna start forming my nails so this I don't really know how to describe what you should be doing the first thing I'm doing is just creating that like base layer so for all of the nails I'm gonna do one layer of the clear and then I'm gonna go in with a layer of the pink gel the hard gel and then I'm gonna go in with another layer of the clear so this is the clear just like as a base just to give me a nail shape and then I'm gonna go on with the pink on top for the actual color um, this was easier the second time around than it was the first it's very like the viscosity of it is very like drippy and just kind of liquidy so I felt like it was pretty easy for me to just kind of paint it on you see me going in circular motions like from the top of the nail where the nail bed is all the way down to the tip of the nail kind of just like dragging it down the sides all the way to the tip and just like filling that in I have to say this probably is my favorite method or medium for like doing nails out of like all of the different um, mediums that I've used on my channel like poly gel the dip powder I've done acrylic but I don't think I've showed you guys this has to be my favorite though I just felt like it was super clean looking and it was a lot less work and I felt like it was easier to maneuver and kind of manage after figuring out like a certain technique when doing my nails And then I cured for 60 seconds and I'm going in with the pink hard gel. This one isn't, this one is still very like kind of loose and goopy and drippy. <laughs> I don't know what the, the specific term is for it, but this one was a little bit less drippy than the clear. So it was a little bit um, stiffer to move around, but it was still like I could manage it this one i don't i wouldn't say be too um specific in how smooth it looks because you are going to go in with a layer of the clear on top anyway if you want as well you can also do two layers of the hard gel i only did one um i would say to do two though i feel like doing two would be better because if there's any kind of like gaps in it then you won't wouldn't be able to tell As you guys can see like the pinky isn't perfect it looks kind of lumpy and bumpy but like I said you're gonna go in with the clear on top anyway and it's gonna fill in all those lumps and bumps you're really not gonna be able to tell just focus on filling in the nail with the pink car gel this is like hella therapeutic like watching it back and doing this voiceover for you guys I'm like wow this is like really nice to watch that's why I made sure to put in like a lot of footage of me like actually doing the nail because I feel like I typically kind of speed through this but yeah if you guys want to see more nail videos from me like please let me know I really um, I've always loved doing nails I've always done my own nails um, for a really long time I do go to get my nails done like all the time but I have been doing my own nails since I was like maybe like eight years old like I've always just like sat down and done tried to do my own nails 
like some way like whether i gave myself a manicure a pedicure or something so it's definitely another passion of mine um and you guys have seen it on my channel before so if you guys want more nail videos please let me know and i would be happy to do those for you you can also go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far i know i am so make sure you smash that like button down below you can also leave me a comment i love writing back to you guys And then I cure that for 60 seconds, and then I'm going in with the clear back on swap, okay? I was kind of generous with this because I knew I wanted a nice apex for my nail. Like, I wanted the thickness of the nail to be there, but I also wanted it to be supported by a nice apex. So I was really focusing the clear at the top where the cuticles are and the nail bed and then kind of dragging the remaining of the clear down the nail at this point i was just like okay i know like i know what method works for me so it's kind of like placing like a little ball of it up at the top and then in circular motions kind of swirling it and dragging it down to the tip of the nail like really worked and with the clear too because it's like a little bit more liquidy and it kind of just moves around easier and better than the pink i just felt like it was perfect for filling in those like little lumps and bumps i had look at that in slow motion baby that looks like it looks fun i, I want to do it again <laughs> Again, I just want to reiterate that I'm not a professional at this. No one has taught me how to do this. I've just learned based off of YouTube videos, but also just practicing on myself. I've done my nails so many times that like I kind of just learn from my mistakes. Um, and now I feel like comfortable enough to do it on camera for you guys, but definitely not a professional. And then after curing for 60 seconds, I'm ready to go in and start shaping my nails because they got to the thickness that I want them to be at. This is my favorite part of doing my nails. I love shaping my nails. I'm sorry I was a little bit out of frame at first, but I eventually like got the hang of it. 
this nail file super 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 bomb i didn't end up using my e-file i have one of those electronic buffers like the e-files to to do all of this but i actually just really love shaping my nails with like a nail file i feel like it gives me so much more precision and i have so much more control over it this is what the thumb was looking like i was super 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 pleased it was also a lot easier to clean up and buff the gel for some reason compared to like any other um nail medium that i've used before like the acrylic i felt like was way harder this gel was like super easy to buff and just like sand down I really enjoyed shaping my nails. I was going for really nice, sharp, clean edges, a nice flat top. This is two fingers buffed compared to like two that were untouched. And I was just, I was going in, like I was going in. <laughs> Then going in with like the buffer and like the smoother, I'm just buffing the top layer of the nail just to make sure that there's no lumps and bumps, making everything nice and smooth. This is kind of like the finishing touch when you're done with shaping, the overall shaping of the nail. You want to go in with this little spongy buffer and just buff everything. These are what my nails are looking like. They look hella good, like shape on 100 shape on 10 baby girl okay i did that and then some then i'm going in with a clear gel top coat and i'm just doing a single layer of this and then i'm sticking on these little rhinestones that i found off of i think i got these on aliexpress if i can find the link to them i will place it in the description box below but i'm just placing a singular little rhinestone at the top of the cuticle right in the center on each nail and then i'm going to cure my nails for 60 seconds Then taking a lint-free wipe and some alcohol, I'm just cleaning off that top sticky layer and, and just making sure my nails are nice and shiny and they're popping, which they are. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this cuticle oil, which is also from Gelish. Like this was a whole gel kit from Gelish and I really just love every single item that came in it. and that's what my nails look like all finished and done if you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below make sure you smash that like button you could also go ahead and click the subscribe button and join the fam if you want to see more videos like this then make sure you subscribe and you let your girl know that you want to see more videos like this in the comment section down below i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye